it's Chris. I got my POP2 3D scanner and I want to check it and see how its accuracy is. I have a POP scanner which I've done some tests on and I'll put a link to those above. But I wanted to see how it does on a turntable which is more of a typical application. Sometimes the vendors just give you a single frame accuracy number. It's not all that realistic. So let's take a look and see how it does. If you go to the RevoPoint POP2 page, you can see that it says the, re the accuracy is 0.05 millimeters and the resolution is 0.15 millimeters. It doesn't say here if it's a single frame accuracy or what. So I'll do my tests on the turntable. For this test, I'm going to use a step block that's commercially available. That way other people can repeat the test and check my results. This is my accuracy check. I've got the calibration board and I have the camera set up 20 centimeters above the board. Before I do any tests, I want to make sure the unit meets its requirements. So, just did the accuracy check. It says it's 0.1653 and it says the reference value is 0.5. So it says my accuracy is qualified. This step block is very shiny, so I'm going to put a very thin coat of Asa Blue on it to cut down the reflections. We're going to do a new scan, high accuracy, marker based, no texture. We're in excellent range. We're going to scan it. Got our point cloud here all merged. And I'm going to mesh quality 6, no noise. I'm not going to fill holes so we don't any, add any extra data. And we're done. Let's do a new scan. This time we're going to use features and we're using the Seb and Jim's ring, no texture. We're in excellent mode. So this is the feature model with the ring. This is the marker based scan of the step block. It's been best fit. The scale again is plus or minus 0.2 millimeters. And you can see that it's not doing that great job of putting it together. It's it's uh, smaller than it should be. Here I've set up the Cowper measurements on the marker based scan and the deviation is negative 0.139, negative 0.074, negative 0.077, and negative 0.178. So I've best fit the feature based scan data to the CAD model of the step block and you can see that the scale is set to plus or minus 0.2 millimeters and you can see out here it's not making that spec. I've set up Cowper measurements on the four different steps here. So I've got a deviation of negative 0 0.07, negative 0 0.066, negative 0.202, and negative 0.31. In my test it appears that the marker mode was a little bit more accurate than the feature based mode in putting the individual frame scans together. None of the caliper measurements were within the 0.05 millimeter spec that was quoted. 
this was a relatively small part on the turntable and the marker mode gave us results that were in the plus or minus 0.2 millimeter range. The feature mode gave us plus or minus 0.31 millimeters results. Well, I hope this information was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.